Good morning, dear hearts. Today's lesson is 128. The world I see, note that part, the world I see holds nothing that I want. Um, this is a lesson that is very much connected to tomorrow's lesson, and uh, I'll mention that later. This lesson says that the world I see holds nothing that I want, that nothing, there's nothing here that you need. There's nothing that you can use in any way, nor anything at all that serves to give you joy. Everything in the ephemeral world is things that will not last, and that is the world I see. This lesson is telling us we need to release our idols, and all of our idols are found in this material ego world. I need to release what I have valued here because what I have valued here is not what is real. What is real is only what is the eternal, and everything else is surrounding the the idols of this world are all surrounding body image material stuff so when i look out onto the world that i see and i see death and sadness and lack and even just doubt doubt about myself doubt about others my brothers doubt about anything. It's something as that one tiny uncertain thought. Every one of those thoughts, every one of those values of something that's material and only material bars the door to heaven that the Christ mind holds open. So the Christ mind is there to hold this door open for me, but my belief in what is not real, what I see in this world, is putting bars up against this door that will make it harder for the door to open. I hope this is making sense. It's it's really a visual. Kind of maybe close your eyes as I'm saying this. That might help. Uh, <laughs> and today we are to practice letting go of all of these things, these ephemeral things that we have valued here. To let our mind fly. I love that. Let our mind fly. And our mind will be grateful for that because where our mind will naturally go, its homing instinct is to go to what is real, to find the joy, to find what is real, to release the attachments to the unreal. So today's uh, practice periods are three times, 10 minutes each time. And the lesson tells us that as we close our eyes on this world and we practice, when we open our eyes, we will not see anything exactly as we saw it before the practice period. We will allow our mind to fly in sureness and in joy to join its holy purpose. Our mind, our holy mind knows where it belongs and it knows where it doesn't. And so as we finish the practice and we wake up, open our eyes, walk through this world that we are in, just observe it now from a different perspective. And the end of the lesson says, this will not tempt me to delay myself. The world I see 
holds nothing that I want. Tomorrow's lesson is the follow up to what I see. There's nothing that this world holds for me, but it gives us the awareness that there is something for us because the Course has told us it will never leave us feeling hopeless. And if we stopped, if we stopped on this lesson that the world I see holds nothing that I want, it could cause a depression. And that is not the goal of this course. We are flying to our joy in sureness and certainty. I hope you have a day just like that. Namaste.